Chronicles and Reviews, y'all know how we do. Back with another one, man. Yes. It looks like we're going to see an old-fashioned fade. I was uh, scrolling through the net. I came across the answers page. He had a good little uh, snippet of WAC 100 and Blue Da Vinci responding to Jay Diggs. And this is going to lead to Jay Diggs accepting the fade. So let's just zoom out and take it piece by piece. Now, hold on. First, we do got to mention. Hold on. Let's mention this before this fade because this may be the second L. Whack 100 may take, but there has been. We're going to get into the shark. Yeah, I just want to go that. ahead and play this first. Go ahead. Don't let me forget about that. We're going to get into that. <laughs> my name, my, I guess he's mad at me because I with you. And they said it was part of the romper room game in number two, and he got the, the store running for Mac Drake. But I just found out he married a yesterday. He the bottom. <laughs> JD. Really? He said, Since he won't my attention, <laughs> now I'm gonna give me my attention. Like you mad at oh, me for talking to Blue the Bitchy. So now the world is gonna start hitting you saying, Whack and said, your mama, you married him. <laughs> I wanna see how you go deal with it. Somebody lied to the blue and told him I wasn't it. Oh yeah, nah. See the thing is, bro, cuz I don't even know this. Blue, he a clout chaser, man. He chasing. Well, he well, I, didn't, I didn't gave him something to chase. It's my fault, bro, because I had mentioned his name the other day in one of them interviews, and ever since that gave him the leeway. There you go. You feel me to jump out there and say something? He's the that made a song and repeated Meech telling him back in the day, "I love Blue," but the rat before Meech had got that paperwork on Ralphie to see that it was Ralphie. You feel me? I want to stop there. That's the claim, again, we hear that Blue Da Vinci is saying that Meech called him a rat and then apologized. How you feel about that, Bob? You don't, you don't believe that? He didn't just that? say that. He didn't just say that? No. You want to rewind it and make sure you hear yeah, it correctly? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Because I don't want you to put words in the man's mouth. Okay. Go ahead. He did. Meech telling him back in the day, I love Blue, but the rat. Before Meech had got that paperwork on Ralphie to see that it was Ralphie. You feel me? But then so he, he never came then, back so to clean it up. Got at him. Oh man, I just repeated what Meek said. Man, I don't know why Blue mad at me. Was he they beat him, man? Suck attack, huh? Nah, look. So look, Jay, this is where Jay Diggs come from. I fucked with Jay Diggs back then when I when I went on the run from the feds. I was with Cuz. Oh, he didn't say it there. We'll have to pull up the song where Blue Da Vinci say Beach <laughs> uh, apologize because that's a point of contention for me and you. You don't think Big Beach apologized about calling uh Blue a rat? It ain't Correct. that I don't believe it. It's just I don't take everything Blue saying as true just because Fair it's coming enough. out of his mouth. Fair enough. So this is stemming from Jay Diggs and Blue already had tension because Jay Diggs is the one who came out on the song saying that Meech called Blue Da Vinci a rat. And he's saying that at some point Meech got it straightened out. He found out that another guy named Ralphie was actually snitching. He's actually going to uh, bring up Cuffy, the one that we got a video uh, with where Cuffy, uh, Meech's co-defendant, was saying that Meech told. He's going to bring up Cuffy around the uh, 400, 4 minute and 48 second mark. But that just gives us some context as to why these guys are fighting. Should I go back to them? I'll play some more. Let me go back them in the bay i was hiding from the feds with him mm -hmm. you, you understand so i don't know how that happens but i was hiding on the run but i was in the bay with him staying with cubs you know what i'm saying me smooth and ab was out there in the bay with cubs that was my man you see all the pictures he, he mad at me because i talked to you i guess yeah, I mean, he ain't he broke mad up. at you, bro. He not mad at you, dude. He's just using that as a Well, he got a reason. Somebody see this. This would it be be telling me wrong about people okay i'm supposed gonna go to be to calling the... me uh-oh it's gonna get worse it's supposed to be calling me here it goes <laughs> it's, this shit finna link the whole project the, the bloods you know he got the bloods in the projects in st louis bro they can't wait to tap this. trust me what be calling me this way he had somebody call me uh-huh they, they finna do the documentary for cuff right now so his daughter had me on the phone with a journalist last night, bro. They not playing. Hey, blue, blue. crazy. 
Blue. Yeah, if, if you, if you hear it, he's saying that Cuffy called him and Cuffy had him on the phone with a journalist and everything <laughs> like that. So Cuffy's trying to really let his story be known out here. Right. You see oh. there in the comments saying we waiting on the debriefing paperwork, Blue. Yeah. <laughs> that's 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 the thing everybody wants to see, that debriefing paperwork. Let me see if I um I can't even get back. Oh uh, I'm at a, I can't even get back to that. I can't even scroll up. I don't know what I did wrong. But yeah, so I guess I don't know, man. Let me stop sharing that. So I guess we could move on and go to what? Do no, we want to go to him? Let's, let's speak, on. Let's okay, speak, speak on, on this. Okay, okay, what happened? Okay, with all of this that's going on, he's saying that, you know, WAC 100 is claiming that uh, Cuffy talked to him and it's a documentary yeah. coming out and they're going to speak. It's, yeah, we heard at the beginning he was disrespecting Cuff, um, Jay Diggs' his girl and everything like that. That's that's right. why he's saying he wanted to fight. Wack 100 is inviting him to a fight. He's disrespecting him. Now we have it that uh, the guy, there's beef now, right? Yeah. Beef between Jay Diggs. Jay Diggs wants to smoke. Mm -hmm. For some reason, my, why is my shit? Jay Diggs a squabbler, so I'm trying to okay yeah so, yeah so me you know i believe that you know jay dig seemed like a stand-up no nonsense guy you know he 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 strictly took the fade like yo when you want to do it let's do it asap yeah we seemed we got like it from his with the bull seemed like he ain't with the bullshit. yeah we we could hear it from his mouth you absolutely right though i respect that yeah before we even go into that i want to say this Usually I don't, you know, advocate for violence, but I think this is a beautiful situation. I'm going to tell you why. These guys ain't talking about shooting each other up or anything like that. Nobody mama has getting shot up. They going to meet up and squabble. Two men that want to fight each other are going to fight. We got to we got to applaud that. With everything that's going on in hip hop right now with people getting ran down oh, on and everything like that. This is actually something that I could deal with. I ain't gonna lie, I could deal with this. I mean, it's it's definitely entertaining, you know. I mean, it's we, mutual we combat. People, I don't even think people. you could get arrested for that. Like, if two men fight each other, like in front of a cop, I don't think either one will go to jail. No, nah, they'll definitely go to jail. You think so? Yeah, there's got to be a law for mutual combat or something like that in on the states. In some know. states, we'll you have know, to we'll have the research a little bit deep. You know, deeper. you bump in front of police officer, y'all going in. You I've know, I've seen it happen where people don't go. Yeah. In, you know? <laughs> oh, okay. But yeah. here we go. We'll hear from the horse's mouth. Jay Diggs accepting the fate. Turn your volume up. Or when it, or when it comes, or when it comes down to Jay Diggs. Now, Jay Diggs finally responded to Blue Da Vinci and WAC 100 in regards to... Oh, yeah, this death of a clout chaser, by the way. Yeah, that's one of WAC, that's WAC. One of WAC shows. And Jay Diggs said he accept, and he needed he needed ASAP. He said that he needed done ASAP. He want to uh, get that fade. He want to get it out the way. So y'all can the comments and let me know what you think. It's done for the Cloud Chaser TV. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Share this on Facebook and Twitter. Let me play the footage for y'all. Here we go. Y'all get the word over the old boy and let him know what it is. I wait. I'm going to get Miss Fade. He asked for I want it ASAP, too. And we ain't doing no ring shit, no glove shit, none of that, my nigga. We're going we gonna to get out. We're going to get out. Y'all get the word over the old boy and let Y'all get the word over the old boy and let him know what it is. I wait. I'm gonna give Miss Fade the action for. I want it ASAP too. And we ain't doing no ring shit, no glove shit, none of that, my nigga. We gonna we gonna get out. We gonna get out. Y'all get Yeah. Seems like That's a pretty... stand stand straight forward. Your boy like Dance, we back with an update on that whole Seems like a uh, stand-up, straightforward guy that's, mm -hmm. you know, no nonsense, so, to me. And, like you said, we really got to see what's up with WAC 100, because right now, his gangster's on the clock once again. We heard the, the news that he fought Sharp recently. 
and that yeah. there's footage according out there. Shark, according to but Shark. Shark, the one who kind of came to the world with that footage. Yeah. So, yeah. It, Hold on. It, let's it, let's get people up to he, speed on that if they don't know. I, I don't know if he's struggling with Shark, man. I don't know if he want that pressure with that dude that's like, you know, they I mean, did seem like he's straightforward and straight about his business. You know what I mean? So, well, I know how you is. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to just take nobody word for it. We ain't seen the fight. We don't know if he struggled with Sharp. Yeah. But if, if it's true what Sharp is, is, is claiming, <laughs> uh, Whack me, he looked like he may be taking a couple of L's this, this in 2023, man. Hey man, we all catch a bad one every now and again. You yeah, know, win, yeah, lose, yeah. or draw. I, I give uh them boys uh respect for standing in just the just standing paint. in the paint. Yeah. You share yeah. mine, I'm gonna show I'm gonna show the little short with sharp <laughs> sharp accepting the fate. Accepting it or or letting us know that the fade went down. Okay. You see my my screen? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, me and Wack already got down on me. That shit was on tape. It was what it was. It's over, right? It's gone. It's done. <laughs> and I'm sure about that. I'm sure now that this done came out, huh? He gonna produce the tape. It's gonna be there for you. Go look. Go see when it come. Call Dago. Call Dago. He's standing on a square. And you know what's so crazy? I was telling you earlier when we were talking about this. Just speculating, I ain't seen nothing. But how how forthcoming whack is with talking about footage and he didn't bring it up. We found out for sure. It make me feel like that shit might not have went whack way, though. You feel me? We would have we yeah. would have been heard this. So there's two fades we need to see. We need to see the sharp versus whack 100, and we definitely need to see the J Diggs versus whack 100 for our view and pleasure you know i don't have a horse in the race i don't care who won really i just i'm just yeah. interested in it they they want us to come tune in and watch this shit everybody you know i've heard a lot of on pie rules uh people dropping locations and all that shit but very rarely do we see people actually squabble you know yeah well on site you know sharp look like he can move a little bit so i mean i seen whack squabble with you know one time he was like China, he just seemed a little stiff to me. Seemed a little like he'll hit you, like he got the power to hit you. But if it come to moving around and you can move around with him, it's like, oh no, it seemed like he may struggle with a, you know, with a mover. So uh, this know. my it, opinion. It'll be crazy. Would also, I I respect that assessment. I don't really know. You know, what I'm saying whack seemed like he got some uh, experience. You know, what I'm saying, but we'll see. Also, I think that they might end up being friends. Like Jay Diggs and Wack One Hundred might end up being friends after this. It, oh, don't you, no. you find that it's that like that sometimes? No, nah, man. I mean, when you talk about somebody, mama and their wife, I just feel like you done you done crossed. Uh, maybe it could get there after they squabble, but after I just they, feel like I'm just saying after yeah. the squabble, maybe they could find a respect for each other. The reason why I say that is we saw China Mac and AD met up and fought. And they're cool now. They was able to get past that, and they have a cooler relationship now, even before they they okay. squabble. So I've seen that happen. You ain't never met a dude, and at first y'all don't like each other. Maybe back in the day y'all fought, and then y'all become the you know friends. That ain't never happened. Uh, yeah, that happened to me before in uh, middle school. You know, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so okay. that that it tends happened. to happen between guys. So we'll, I'm curious to see where it goes. I just wanted to update the people on that. I don't really got too much to add to that. On that, okay, yeah. okay, yeah, man. So look, let me know what y'all think about this, man. Do you think Matt yeah. um, Whack may have met his match, or he already <laughs> met his match and he's gonna meet another one? Or yeah, we need to know who y'all think will win between Whack and Sharp, or who won, and. Who are we between J Diggs and Wack 100? They're supposed to be both like short and stocky guys. So get in the comments. Let us know what you think. Who you got your money on? For real. For real. Hey, listen. We're going to catch y'all in the next video. Share to keep your people aware. Peace. <laughs> right. I like that.